lovely to Fluffy. Uh, this is my daughter's dog Luna, so she is molting really badly. Um, I don't know if you can see from that side, you can see these bits coming off here. Um, she is really bad. We have only just come back from a run, hence that's why I look a mess and I'm covered in mud. Um, so she needs a good wash, but first we're going to try and get as much of this coat out as possible. Do you want to come around this side and see how bad it is this side? Um, this is just normal, she's molting and it's just all coming out. You can just pull it out really, quite softly and it's all coming out. But these are the tools I'm using today. Um, so this one is really good for getting the coat out and it's a bit more gentle, but these ones are great because they really do pull, pull it out a bit better and a bit quicker as she's molting quite badly. Um, so we'll see how we get on with these tools that I'm using today, okay? Right, so I'm gonna take her head collar off. Put her collar off. I'm just putting this on just in case she tries to jump off. She's not very good at heights, but I've actually put the table down so she's a bit lower than I would have it, all the other dogs on. Um, oh God, these things are pain. Nice minute, Luna. So it's not tight, it's just keeping her there. So she thinks that she's. You're not going to go nowhere, are you? You're beautiful. Right, so I'm going to start off with my brush. As you can see, she's not as actually that bad. When she's really molting, you get quite a lot of fur coming out, but it's not coming out that easy. You might go to my other brushes if you stand on them. There you go. So she's been really itching. And she gets a lot of dandruff when she's molting. Um, so it really needed to be done. And because she's been out running today, I may as well just give her a good brush out. As you can see, it's coming everywhere. It's just like, it's like wool. It's beautiful. So I'm just gonna go gently over like this, just in case she's got any muddy parts so it doesn't pull and hurt her. And then I will go onto my other tool of brush. Fluffing up. <laughs> there you go. And we're going to do one side first and then I'll go on to the other side. I'm going to use this one. It's slightly not as long as my other tool. I don't know if you can see. So that's a little bit grippy, this one here. But I'm going to go for this one, which isn't so grippy, but it should get the coat out a bit better. And being gentle because these can pull and I don't want it to hurt her. Um, good girl. This is going to feel so much better. She's been so itchy and my kitchen has been getting covered by a huge amount of fur. So it really is time to get it all out. Can you see how easy that has come out using this brush? So this is just one side. So she goes through different stages with her molting. Um, because the weather keeps changing, one minute it's warm, next minute it's cold. Um, she molts, actually, what would you say is about every six months? Yeah. Um, her cold coat comes out. She's not as fluffy as some um, Siberian Huskies. Um, she does live in. She did used to live out um, in the kennel and she loved that but because um, she lives with a springer who can't really handle living out in a kennel that much. He likes to be quite close to his family so we've brought them in. Good girl, oh, it's coming out lovely. There we go. So I'm just being gentle because she's actually quite small. She's a small dog. She hasn't got any fat on her at all. Um, wow, look at all of that. That's just from one side. Stand still, Luna. Let's move her forwards. She, she absolutely hates this. And even sometimes it's actually easier just to get the bits where the brush is not getting it quite nicely. I can just put it out. It's, she's not under any stress at all. And we're literally gently just pulling these loose bits out. 
And you know when they're loose, because it's lighter than her normal coat. Can you see that on the camera? So you don't pull on the dark bits. That's her, her new coat there. She has an undercoat. I don't know if you can, you can see her undercoat. If I go like this, as you can see, she does get really dandruffy. She's got the soft, fluffy, soft coat underneath. That's the undercoat. Then, then the darker colour is her top coat. Um, good girl. She's like, I'm getting hot. Good girl. So after I've done this, she's going to have a bath and she's going to have a blast with um, our brilliant dryer. But it will also blast any hair out, which is not come out or any bits that I've missed. Good girl. She's going to feel so much happier. Now it's always hard to get the coat off around here. So sometimes it's just not quite ready to all come out because she's been molting for the past two weeks, I'd say. She goes through stages. So it doesn't all come out at once, I find. But every dog's different. So, I mean... I've spoken to other people which shows where their huskies have molted a few times in the space of a couple of weeks and Luna's only molted once in the summer and she's not as bad and other huskies are looking a right mess but that's because they're still in the process of molting so good girls I'm just being gentle she's starting to get rid of all this rubbish coat now look at that that's just from one side oh well done Lena she's going to so much better well done that's all from you darling okay girl I'm just going to do the front I'm just holding her here good girl she absolutely hates being on the table She's actually scared of heights, so I have put the table down. Um, I'm lucky because this changes heights by a press of your foot. I leave it here and it can go up and it can go down. I don't know if you can see. I'm here. So this helps working with uh, small dogs and big dogs. Um, I wouldn't put her on the floor to do it. Um, as it's actually harder to keep her still um, as I need to get this job done well done I don't need to do her legs they're okay they're okay I don't want to upset her it's mainly her body that she wants from the most um, but she'll be having a blast out here can you see the hair coming off her <laughs> oh my god I can't even breathe Luna so just being gentle See, this brush is brilliant. This is the slicker brush, and they're great. They're great for her coat. Every dog's coat is different. Doesn't mean that this would work on um, another husky, but this works on ours. So this is all the coat from one side, and I'll look at that. That's from one side of Luna. Now I'm gonna work on the other side. Ugh, I'm getting hair in my mouth, Lou. So working on this side, she's like, what are you doing to me? I'm just going to move her forward just a little bit because she's edging, edging the back of the table. Right, so stand up. Well done. So I'm just going over with my other softer brush with the bigger grips, purely just to check if there's any mud that will get caught up on it. I don't want to pull it looks okay she did get absolutely covered there we go it's all coming off now good girl so i'm just going to open the door just a little bit because she's getting hot we have got the heat on so because it's stressful for her i don't want her to overheat She's not bad around her neck. She's not molting actually that much around the front of her. This side isn't that bad. Make a little pile here. See how much we get off this side. 
Again, I'm going to use my fingers. One side seems to be better than the others. The other side. Good girl, Luna. Well done. Good girl. I'm just going to shut that because it's all going around over there now. I find that um, when she's molting, she does get a lot of dry skin. Um, so I'm not concerned about that, but she does need a good wash. Um, I don't tend, she doesn't get very dirty because she's a Siberian Husky. She doesn't need washing regularly. Like with our Springer, we have to clean him. <laughs> I'm shaking on the hair. <laughs> um, with our Springer, we have to wash him probably every six weeks and maybe more if it's um, been bad weather and he's been out in a lot of mud but with her oh god after a bath she smells good after even two months um she's just a really clean dog she doesn't like getting dirty really does she no she don't like getting dirty at all but i've started doing running with her so she has been going through puddles because she has no choice because the screen drags her through it um, as they're on um, on a harness together, um, but she tends to like to keep her feet clean. Hey, you a good girl. So as you can see, she's not under any stra stress at all. Um, she's huffing a bit because she's it, she don't like the fact that she is off the floor. So, but she's not scared, are you, darling? You're not scared, you're a good girl. Um, she trusts us. But then she lives with us, so, um, good girl, well done. Let's lift her up. Can you see it all coming off? I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Oh my God. I didn't actually realise how much hair is coming off her today. I didn't think it would be that bad, because my daughter actually gave her a groom. When was it, last week? Yeah. So, you are supposed to groom Siberian Huskies every week, the same as... Um, any dog really, um, even our Springer, but we have our Springer normally flipped out. So this side isn't that bad, the other side was well bad. Good girl, so I'm just going to hold her, just... so she knows she's secure. Oh god, it's even going in my eyes, <laughs> and I've got glasses on. But then when this is over and done with, then not hardly any hair will come off her um, after she's gone through this period of molting. So she doesn't molt all the time. Um, so she's not that bad. But we have to get this all off. Whoa. So there's not really that much coming off from this side. Uh, what is it? On the floor. Oh, there's some on the floor. Oh God, it's going everywhere. So I don't mind it's going everywhere. Um, good girl. Did you see it's all coming? <laughs> it's like it's snowing. But it needs to come off because it's irritating our skin. Um, so it needs to come off. She can overheat as well. Um, so it's good to just get it all off now. And um, never clip these dogs. You will totally wreck their coat. Their coat keeps them warm in the winter and it keeps them cool in the summer. Um, never. If a client came up to me and they wanted, they were saying they were worried about their dog overheating because their thick coat. I'm like, tough. She's a Siberian Husky. She's, she cannot be clipped at all. You will end up ruining her coat. It won't grow back the same. It's a brilliant coat. She really doesn't suffer in the summer. Uh, we do have um, uh, cooler coats that we put on her in the summer and cool mats. Um, do what you do with every dog. You don't walk them in the sun. Um, walk early in the morning or later off in, in the evening. Um, but they're fine. They keep themselves cool. And when they've been, um, when they've got all their coat off it helps to keep them um, cooler as well but yeah she does not have any problems with that 
Okay, still coming off. This coat here is a little bit tougher. It's not the same all over. These are the only bits on Luna which is a bit tougher. So it's quite thick there. Good girl, Luna. Oh, it's all coming off now. So being gentle. She's like, what are you doing in my bum? She's not going to like me much. It's okay, it's okay. So I'm just keep brushing. Just being a bit gentle because she's a bit of a sensitive girl, aren't you, darling? You're very sensitive. Good girl. She's like, no, I don't like this. She doesn't like her nails being cut. She doesn't like her feet being played with. And she certainly doesn't like anyone near her bum. Do you? No. You're a lady. And she's like, what are you doing to me? So, oh, it's all coming off now. But it's slightly thicker around that air area. Um, protecting her private areas, I would say. Ah, 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 ah. So she's, <laughs> she's a bit cheeky. <laughs> She's like, no, 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 good girl, good girl. I'm not hurting her, she's okay. just being silly. She's just being silly, good girl. Just being gentle. There we go. There okay. we go. Just holding her so she doesn't come off the table. Um, obviously, she's at the front, she's tied there, but good girl, good girl. So just keep telling her it's okay. okay. These bits need to come off. Nah, 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 nah. Good girl. Good girl. She's not in any. Um, she's not in any pain. She's just a fifty bum now. She's been real silly. Right. So she's had enough of that. So I'm not going to keep stressing her out over that end. We'll come back to that in a minute. Right. I'm just going to lift this leg up. She's got long legs. I'll we'll just get under here. God. Oh, Luna. Good girl. I would have to say, I don't think my daughter did a good job of brushing her last week. So I don't think so much would come off today. No offence as well. <laughs> so, I would say, this needs to be done a lot more regularly. But that's okay. That's what I'm here for. There we go, look at that. She's gonna feel so much better. And I'd say she's gonna feel so much lighter as well. Stand still. Good girl. So I'm just gonna do under the belly this side. Oh my God. It's snowing. It's snowing in our house. I'm just doing under the belly again. This side's actually the worst. So. She's like, what are you doing to me? I do not like this one bit. Good girl. Again, just on here, can you see it's just literally, I'm hardly doing it. Hard, I'm not doing it hard, I'm doing it softly and look at it all just coming off like that. And then when all of this, um, when she's shedded and all this dead coat has come out, can you see how shiny she is on the black bits? so much thinner she'll be a lot cooler so it's really important to keep brushing every week and then when she goes through that molting you really need to get it out because because otherwise it's just uh, it eventually comes out itself naturally but if you're worried about your dog getting hot in the summer keep on top of the brushing and um it'll be keeping her a lot cooler Good girl, well done. Good girl, Luna. So how long have we been brushing so far as well? A 18 minutes, nearly 19. Okay, so it's taken that long just to get this out of her body. We don't like to stress her out too much. That's not too bad. Just do the bottom area, she doesn't like this, very sensitive, so just being really gentle. But it's starting to thin out a bit now, so that's looking a bit better. Her head's not that bad, it's more her body. Let's just go over her tail. 
Not much can stop her tail, really. Good girl, good girl. Is there any poofing off her tail at all? She's got a beautiful thick tail. Time to really good girl, good girl. You're putting up with it so well, aren't you? So I'm happy with that side. Do you want to video that side? Have a little look. Can you see how much that's, that's looking better, isn't it? Good girl, good girl. 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 And then when she's had a bath, that will get a lot of the hair out and then she'll have a blast with um, the hair dryer. Well done, Luna. Luna Boona, you are such a good girl. Hey, you look slimmer. Wouldn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> good girl. So I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on it. But she's not again, not under any stress. This is very short anyway with the slicker, so it's not gonna pull. Um, sometimes I use this, but this is when she's really bad. Um, but actually, it's a soft one, so it's not that bad. But that's a bit too, uh, they're too long, the bristles. So I won't use this one. Um, so I'll put that there. Um, it's only when she's been really thick coated. Um, but she's molted, yeah, she molted probably sooner than six months because we've had quite a, a mild winter. I'd say she, she did it probably just before Christmas as well. So it's not been quite six months. And um, so it is more or less how the weather is outside. My chest is fine. I think it's not that bad. Over the head. The head's got a really soft coat. It, she, she just mainly molts all over her body. Um, this is the main bulk of her. Um, she's not that bad. Mm, I need a mask. But it's starting to look really soft. So these bits are not quite ready to come out. So she, I think she'll probably mark maybe for another couple of weeks, maybe. Another week. I find that she goes through stages. I mean, it's like, it's like anything. Every dog's different. I can still see that some some of the dead hair is not quite softened to come off, but it may do may come off in the bath. Let's see, I don't like to put too much pressure on. So I'm just going to attack the bottom area again. I'm going to come around this way as well. <clears throat> so I'm just holding the tail to one side, being careful around her private areas. She does not like this one bit. So I'm just going gentle, reassuring her. It's okay. It's okay, Luna. It's okay, Luna. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Um, if I'm not, if um, if I'm here and I have someone working with me, then they will be at the front, just ensuring her, maybe giving her a treat. Um, good girl. It's okay, Luna. Good girl. She's like, oh my god, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, Luna? Not putting that much effort into it, really. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Is that no, no, no? Get away from my bum. There we go. There we go. It's okay. It's okay. She doesn't like it. You don't like it. I know. I know. She's a bit softy. There we go. There we go. Okay, that'll do it from that bottom end. So she is ready for a bath. I'd say we've got quite a bit of hair off. Would you say, Isabel? Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's really important um, to get good flea treatment with these type of dogs. We've never had any problems. Um, we use a really good um, flea. We, our flea routine is done every month without fail. But with these coats, you can get a special tablet um, from the vet for flea treatment. And um, the reason why is because if you don't put the flea treatment properly. Um, into their coat and you actually well you could end up putting it on the coat and not actually on the skin with her we're quite lucky because her coat is not as thick as some huskies 
um, so we can actually get to her skin and put flea treatment on. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because fleas have been really bad this winter because we haven't had a proper winter and a lot of dogs that I've groomed recently have had fleas. So please keep up with the flea treatment with your dogs because your house will just end up being covered in fleas. Um, but yeah, I'm really on top of that because I cannot stand stuff like that. Right, so now she's going to have a bath. So I'm just going to take this off. She won't need this in the bath. Now, the, she's a very light dog. So I haven't had any really heavy dogs. Um, when I do have heavy dogs, I'm just waiting for my delivery of some steps. So what I would be doing is having the table just a little bit lower and having some steps where the bigger dog could walk onto. If they're unsure, um, with treats and just reassuring them, no rush, just take your time. But with her, she's so light. I've got one arm here, one arm here, and then lift her up, and off she goes to the bath.